What's up guys? I'm here with Mojo and I'm here with Lola and today I'm going to talk about introducing marmosets to each other. Uh, typically if you have a mar- oh, this is her, his. So what I'm doing right now is that as you see I'm giving him a marshmallow coated in this white cream. That's actually dewormer. I have this uh, I use this brand right here. Works pretty well. Uh, it's it's a cc for every four pounds the animal is and since marmosets typically weigh one pound you want to do a fourth of a cc a day and you do that for 10 days straight and that should deworm them because really a main concern is that you want each both marmosets to be healthy and you don't want them to catch anything from each other uh, second off uh, if your marmosets are parent raised or if they ever been with marmosets you shouldn't have any problems introducing them to each other you know they should know how other monkeys react and stuff but so I'll let you know Lola was uh, was part of a colony but Mojo as you know was hand was hand reared and he's never been around other marmoset before so typically with the hand reared marmosets you have a problem introducing them so how did I go about introducing them uh, well I tried to do some research I found there's no you know process or one way to do it so how did I figure out what to do well first things first let me give them another marshmallow oh, this one serves whoops <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> should make her way back around I have more anyways Oop, there you are hey baby come back I have one for you there you go that's yours all right, so what did I do? So first off, when I had Lola, the the guy was nice enough to give me this little cage to put right next to his cage for a while, right? Because the first thing you want to do is if you have a hand-reared baby that's never been around another monkey, you want to see how they're going to react. Uh, if they start freaking out when they see the other marmoset and they hear them, then chances are it's going to take you a long time to introduce them. But lucky for me, Mojo didn't react too much. You know, oh, if you saw that, that's him leaving his scent. As you know, marmosets are very territorial, and they'll actually leave their scent uh, all over their cage by rubbing their face in like that, if you saw that. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. Um, so I had Mojo and Lola next to each other for a while, you know. Uh, you want to make sure both marmosets are healthy. As I said, I had her health papers and stuff, as, so I knew she was healthy. And I started deworming Mojo immediately. He's, you do it 10 days straight, he's on the ninth day right now, so tomorrow will be his last day of dewarming. So I had their cages together for two days. And uh, with the research I did it, did, it said just introduce them, and you just have to hope things don't get too ugly. So what I did is that I introduced them to each other. And uh, I have another marshmallow for her. And uh, yeah, things did get a bit nasty. He started getting a little rough with her, so I had to separate them again. And this, this got me really worried. I didn't know what to do. Uh, so I texted a colleague of mine who um, who recommended uh, going to an open room and then uh, having them explore that since there's no none of their scents are anywhere. And then uh, he, he won't uh, attack her because, you know, his scent's not there, her scent's not there. He's trying to steal her marshmallow. Uh, so anyways... Where was I at? Oh, so anyways, I didn't have an open room to do that, so I figured basically I may want to get rid of his scent because, you know, he's the one that's making the ruckus. So what I did is that I completely cleared out this cage of all of his toys and everything. I threw his toys in here, there, and then I took uh, some soap, a brush, uh, and I cleared it all out, you know, got rid of everything, and I just completely removed his scent from the cage. I threw in a few new toys. And then I let her stay in here for a day or two, leave her scent. And I left them in here, and I put them right on the stand over there, just so we could watch her leave her scent everywhere. Then after those two days, I put them in the cage. And lucky for me, they got along. It's a thing, it's been three days strong so far that uh, they've been getting along. <laughs> and you know, it's really good. So anyways, just to repeat my process, I put her in the main cage so she could leave her scent. She was in a colony so she knows how all the marmosets behave she knows you know not to fuck with them but it, mojo was the problem anyways so you know he had to learn how to be nice to her so 
Ma basically, the main steps is just always watch them and make sure they get along, and make sure that the hand reared marmoset is not going to be in the main cage, leaving his scent where he's going to be territorial. All right, so that's basically it for introducing uh, marmosets to each other. All right, so I actually have two more videos planned that I'll upload soon about breeding marmosets and buying from a breeder. You know, choosing a breeder. Anyways. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.